What's going on, everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Sunday evening, and I'm just sitting at home, uh, just chilling, and just wanted to make this video just to respond to all the inquiries about my thoughts about Chris Miller having a heart attack. And if some of you guys are not familiar, uh, Chris Miller had actually threatened to whip my ass at the Arnold Classic, which I would have loved for him to try. Obviously motivated by uh, his girlfriend, Sarah Piana, who is a very troublesome uh, broad. But, you know, uh, I guess a lot of people are wanting me to respond very ugly to Chris Miller. And I'm not going to do that, but I am going to offer some friendly advice there that might help him. Now, first off, you know, I read his little message about genetics and heredity. Let me tell you something here, you stupid ass motherfucker. Uh, you're in your 20s and you have two heart attacks. And 99% of them are clogged. That is not genetics. That's steroids. That's illicit drugs there. That's what's causing your heart attack there. Ain't no fucking genetics and no fucking heredity or anything like that. And I believe I've already told you that last year when I was up there responding to your threats that you need to clean your act up there. Obviously, not just mental, but also physical. Because it's pretty clear to me that you've been doing a lot of drugs. The reason being is because you're in your 20s. And you've had two fucking heart attacks back to back. 99% of your arteries are clogged. Are you fucking stupid or something? You think that's genetics or something? You think that's heredity? No. That's not normal. That's steroids. That's growth hormone. That's insulin. That's illicit drugs, stimulants, cocaine. I'm not sure what you're doing. But whatever you're doing, you need to stop doing it. You need to turn your life around and clean it up. Get off all the drugs. Get off the steroids. And most importantly, get rid of the bad influences. And I do point out to bad influences like mm, maybe the white ex-wife of someone who also used a boatload of drugs and subsequently was snorting pre-workout powder and, hit his, and had a heart attack and hit his fucking head on a table and died of necrosis of the brain. You think so? You think those that might be a bad influence, being the boyfriend of someone like that? I'm not saying you need to break up with her, but I think you need to make some lifestyle changes as well as some personal health changes as well there. You know, because both of those go two and two together. So I hope you recover from your heart attack. But at the same time, this is just some hard advice. I'm giving you a little bit of wisdom. Not advice, wisdom. Turn your fucking life around before it is too late. You're going to end up like Derek Anthony or a lot of other people that have made these similar mistakes. And like I said... Life isn't guaranteed to everyone, but quite frankly, if you stand in front of a train that's coming right at you, then you're going to end up getting hit and run over. Like another uh, fitness athlete who decided he wanted to go and outrun a train because he thought he was Superman. We are not Superman. We are just flesh and blood. And I guess you're now realizing that you, my friend, are flesh and blood. So rather than having another heart attack or ending up in a casket, turn your life around, Chris Miller. And that's all I got to say today. And I'm still going to be at the Arnold Classic. And I'm sure if you even decide to come there, you'll be hobbling around. I would highly suggest that you don't start anything with me. Because regardless as to whether you have a pacemaker or some other device... Uh, hooked up to you, you may get a response that you may not appreciate. Just saying. And that's all today, folks. You guys take care.